Welcome. In front of me is a App Reno 6, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. So you can obviously see that the phone I have right here is locked and I could unlock it either using the previously used pin or if I close this, it will tell me to verify it using the uh, previously used Google account. Now, assuming we have no either of those, for the bypass, we will need a SIM card. Now that SIM card needs to have some kind of pin on it. Yeah, sorry for that. And yeah, so let's get popping. I'm gonna lock the device and pop off the cover just so I can access the tray, which is at the bottom of the phone. There we go. So on the tray, you want to pop your SIM card on there. And once you insert it back into the device, it should give us a pop-up with, there we go, the SIM pin. So obviously you want to confirm it. Now what will happen once I confirm it, it will change the language to the language of the SIM card, which in this case it's Polish. So I'll have to go through it and as you just seen, I have to change it. Uh, but the basic result is the same. You should get this pop-up right in the middle right here and you want to slide down on it like so, as you can see. It will start expanding and when you let it go, it actually pulls down the notification panel. From here, you want to select the settings and I will now quickly change the language. So this is basically only for me. Now, unfortunately, when I change the language, it will actually close this. So I need to get back in here. Like I said, this is uh, part of my problem uh, when I do this because I'll see that this should now crash. There we go. So what I will do is pop out the tray again and then pop it back in. Put my pin in once more. And either it's gonna give me that pop-up right now or I'll need to pop the SIM card back out at which point it brings it back up as you can see. So if you had the same problem, uh, simply it looks like uh, the first time around it uh, shows up when you hold it or when you uh, put in your card but the second time around you want to get this pop-up you need to actually put in the card and then take it back out and you should get this uh, little image and from here again we're gonna go to settings scroll down to additional settings which is these two little dots and then scroll all the way down to backup and reset again last option erase all data factory reset last option again erase all data then select the red text, erase data, Get up once again, and this will begin the process. So let it run through. It's going to take a minute or so for it to finish up the factory reset. And once it has, we should then be greeted with the setup screen, at which point the device will be fully unlocked. For some reason it's telling me to pop in or send pen even though it is taken out so I'm just gonna take it out fully. Hmm, weird, let me just try to like fix this up. That shouldn't be actually showing up at all. There we go. As you can see now it's gone. I'm not sure what that was all about. So anyway, uh, let's unlock the device and from here we can go out, go about the setup of the device however we like. Like I mentioned before, the phone is now fully unlocked, so you can do whatever you want. Now, obviously you do need to agree to the user agreement and privacy terms because, goody, why wouldn't you? And from here we can either connect to Wi-Fi or skip it. It's completely up to you. I'll be skipping it this time around. And let's just finish it up. And there we go. The, as you can see, the setup is now complete. We have access to home screen. There was no need to verify anything. So, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.